Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to this week's Is It Bad? All about nonstick skillets and safety. Um, you guys had some awesome questions in the comments that I want to talk a little bit about. I have my associate here, this is Tanner. He's clearly exhausted. <laughs> um, so the, one of the um, biggest questions people asked was, what about ceramic skillets? And we have done a lot of research and a lot of testing on ceramic skillets. If you haven't heard of ceramic, it's an alternative, it's a type of nonstick skillet um, that's an alternative to the traditional PTFE Teflon. It's um, ceramic, it's a type of coating, it's called actually sole gel. The word ceramic means like all, a huge, it encompasses a broad range of things. I was actually at MIT once with two MIT professors and I said, what does ceramic actually mean? And they were both like, uh, like it's, it's a broad term, it means a lot of things. But as far as nonstick, we're talking about a coating called sole gel. Um, and it doesn't have the same, it doesn't off-gas in the same way as PTFE. But the problem is, in all of our testings, we don't like it. It doesn't wear as well as the PTFE. Um, so first of all, the reason they call it a green skillet is in the production process, the coating gets sprayed onto the pan in one stage. Whereas with the traditional PTFE, it goes on in you know, there's a primer, just like painting a house, there's a primer, there's a second coat, there's a third coat often, sometimes there's up to five coats, and this process takes longer so that um, the production facility uh, has to run for longer, which takes more energy and power, and, you know, pollutes more, so that's why it's a green skillet. Um, but, so that coating, the sole gel coating, is a lot more brittle than traditional PTFE nonstick. Sole gel is like um, it's a glass-like substance, so sort of like beach sand, whereas traditional nonstick is more like plastic. It's like a coating of pla you know, plastic that goes right on. Um, and when you're cooking with a pan, when you clean a pan, um, the metal of the pan expands and contracts when it, as it heats and cools. And the sole gel ceramic pans, because they're more brittle, they're much more likely to break off, to flake off, to bend away from the metal as it's expanding and contracting. So we found they're just not as durable, they're nowhere near as nonstick as traditional PTFE. But if you don't want to need nonstick and you don't want to deal with the off-gassing issue at all, ceramic is a decent choice. Scan pan manufacturers are top-rated um, ceramic nonstick skillet. We don't love it as much as other pans. Honestly, the shape isn't perfect. It, it wears more. Um, it didn't look great at the end of testing, but it's a good option if you want nonstick, but you don't want traditional PTFE. Um, another question people brought up is, is it bad if nonstick, if my nonstick skillet is deeply scratched or is flaking off? Um, is that a bad thing? And I spoke with our science editor and OXO, who makes our winning nonstick pans, and both of them said that it's an inert substance, so it'll basically go right through you. It's not going to um, cause any problems. Actually, um, our science editor said that sometimes heart valves, like there's things that are implanted in your body that have nonstick on them, um, and that it's not an issue. I think the problem with nonstick as far as a consumer safety issue comes down to when it's heated and potentially off-gassing. So if it's inside your body, it's not gonna be getting up to 500 degrees, let's hope. So both our science editor and OXO said if your pan is deeply scratched or if it's flaking, it's, it's actually okay, you could still keep using it. Um, that might not be cool with you though. You might still wanna throw it away if that's your own personal decision and that's totally fine. Um, the grooves, you know, they can also make it less non-stick. There's all sorts of, it's all marred up. So it might just be time for a new pan. But, you know, you can actually season a non-stick skillet. You know, you season a cast iron pan, you rub oil on it. You can actually season a non-stick skillet. It doesn't become, um, it doesn't create like a, a black shiny layer on it like it does with a cast iron or a carbon steel pan. But it does revive the non-stick ability if it's starting to get a little sticky. Um, so we recommend actually that when you buy a pan, you warm it on the stove just for 30 seconds on low heat, put a little oil on and rub it around, and then wipe it out. And that just kicks things off really nicely. It's going to be nonstick already, it's right out of the box, but this just protects it, takes it up a little notch. And then if you notice your pan starting to become nonstick, again, wait, nonstick? Not nonstick? sticky. If your pan is starting to cling on to things like eggs and whatnot, try it again. Make sure it's really nice and clean, warm it, 
empty. I know we say not to do that, but just for 30 seconds on low, warm it up a little bit, put about mm, a teaspoon of oil, canola oil, something neutral flavored, rub it around with a paper towel, wipe it out, and then it should actually bring your pan back a little bit um, and make it a little less sticky. But also the other thing is, our winning pan I think is 30 from OXO, 30 or $40. dollars Nonstick pans, in the grand scheme of things, are relatively inexpensive. And that's one reason why we tend to choose relatively inexpensive nonstick winners. One, because they have the best performance. We choose, we focus on that first. But two, if you, it's a pan, we know they're not as durable as carbon steel, cast iron, stainless steel. There's no way they're gonna last as long. They're inherently um, less durable because they have that fallible coating on their surface. So um, you might just have to buy a new one. And that's something, you know, you're not gonna, this is, nonstick pans are not, um, pans you're going to be passing down to your grandchildren. They have a shorter lifespan um, and that's just part of what, how they're made. So I think that sometimes you just need to buy a new pan. Um, all right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tia Tan. Tan is from Texas. If anyone's from Texas, he's barely awake. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, make sure to check out next week's episode. Okay, bye.